Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 2.25 from chapter number 2. So the problem is, by substituting the Boolean expression equivalent of the binary operations as defined in table 2.8, this table 2.8 is from the chapter Two. okay so inside the chapter you will find the table 2.8 then show the following that means we have to prove these two points okay so the first problem is the inhibition operation is neither commutative nor associative the inhibition means here inhibition is denoted by if there are two variables x and y then inhibition symbol is given by x inhibition y okay this is nothing but x not y this means x inhibition y means x not y that means x y complement x not y means x y complement this inhibition is nothing but x not y so first of all we have to prove that this inhibition operation is neither commutative nor associative okay so we have to say whether x inhibition y is equal to y inhibition x so we have to check this one here we can see that x inhibition y so x inhibition y operation is equal to x y bar okay and and y inhibition x equal to y x bar or we can write it as x bar y so this term and this term are not equal therefore we can write it as x inhibition y not equal to y inhibition x so this inhibition operation is not commutative now we have to check whether it is associative or not now associative associative property so as per the associative property if we have three input variables okay we have to check whether x inhibition y inhibition z is equal to x inhibition y inhibition z so we have to check this property okay so first of all let us find out the left hand side left hand side is equal to x inhibition y okay whole inhibition z so here we get x inhibition y means x y bar okay inhibition z so from here we can so from here we get x y bar so here will be z bar now let us find out the right hand side right hand side of this operation x inhibition y inhibition z okay so here we can see that x inhibition y inhibition z is nothing but y z bar okay so from here we can write it as x y z bar whole bar x whole into y bar plus z okay so we can write it as x y bar plus x z so this therefore we can write it as l left hand side is not equal to right hand side so this inhibition operation is neither commutative nor associative the second part of the problem so this one was the first part of the problem okay so second part of the problem we will see whether this exclusive or operation is commutative or associative so x xor y is equal to x y bar plus x bar y so this is the xor operation so we have to check whether it is commutative or not that means now we'll find out y xor x equal to y x bar plus y bar x so we can write it as it is nothing but this let us write this term first x y bar plus x bar y so this term and this term is the same therefore we can write it as x x or y equal to y x or x so this x or operation is commutative okay therefore it is commutative now let us check the associative property so for Checking the associative property, what we have to check? We have to check whether x xor y xor z equal to x xor y xor z. So 
so we have to check this x xor y whole xor z now let us expand this from this term so we can write it as this x x or y is nothing but x bar y plus x y bar x or z x bar y plus x y bar into z plus this x bar so whole complement into z plus x bar y plus x y bar z bar okay so from here we can get this is whole complement using De Morgan's theorem we can write x plus y bar all into x bar plus y all into z plus this one is direct multiplication x bar y z bar plus x bar y bar z bar we can write it as the multiplication x into x bar x x bar plus x into y x y plus x bar y bar x bar y bar plus y y bar all into z plus x bar y z bar plus x bar sorry x y bar z bar this one is x y bar z bar okay so x y bar z bar okay so from here it is this one is x x bar is 0 and y y bar is 0 so we can directly take it as x y into z x y z plus this one is x bar y bar z plus x bar y z bar plus x y bar z bar okay so if we express it in sum of mean terms we will get sum of 1 2 so this term is 1 then 2 is this one this term and then we have 4 this one is 4 and this one is 7 okay so this is the sum of mean term expression so similarly if we find out similarly if we expand this x xor y xor z in this manner then also we will get this summation so here we can write it as x xor y xor z i am not expanding this one okay so we'll get this one so from here we can comment it the comment that it is associative so this is the solution of the problem number 2.25 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you